Hi there, I'm Ange Valentini from Toronto, and I have probably been working on campaigns um, since I was about 16. And the interesting thing is, um, in my grade 11 law class, there was a kid who sat a row over from me, his name was Tr Trevor Timchuk, and he decided he was going to run for school board in North York. And he, I had never really chatted to him before in school, and one day he said, hey, you seem like you really care about democracy and electoral process. I'm, I'm running for school board, would you help me out? And that's probably, the, that is the first campaign that I really got involved in. And basically, um, my involvement was E-Day. Um, so it was showing up and being a scrutineer and um, having a chat with Trevor and his buddies and his family about um, where we thought our votes were coming from. And we didn't have enough volunteers to be in every poll, so which ones were we going to go to? Um, and then it involved a lot of sitting around in a polling station all day. Um, but it was cool because it was, um, so, I've said his name now, now I'm going to say he's not particularly popular um, and didn't, um, like he wasn't, he probably wasn't the kind of person you usually think would take a big risk or run for office, but he had some um, really good ideas about what the education system should be doing in terms of um, responding to the needs of special needs students and he was willing to take a risk and get out there and run to raise that conversation. As long as I can remember, I've had this really strong feeling that if things aren't quite right in the world, um, that nothing's going to change unless regular people step forward and use our voices to speak out or actively work towards change. Um, it's really the Margaret Mead quote about never doubt that a small group of committed people can change the world. It's the only thing that ever has. It truly is the only thing that ever has. Um, I tend to pick up campaigns that are perceived to be, um, or join in campaigns or start campaigns that are perceived to be underdog campaigns. Um, like there's no way you could stop the casino industry or there's no way you could stop um, an incinerator that's burning garbage without a stack. But um, when enough people get together and get creative and get honest and are willing to um, have conversations about that and put, put themselves out to create the world that we want to live in, they want to live in, um, that's how you make progress. So I guess that's really what keeps me coming back.